So, man, I look to stay in the community to make other people of value move into my community because they consider me a person of value. You know what I'm saying? Then we can bring value to the inner city. You know what I'm saying? So in five years, I want to be a leader. I want to be a role model. Revolution, the new era of freedom fighters most governments call terror. I live out a gun, you march and write letters. Born in Argentina, Ernesto Guevara. Some people know him as El Comandante, Mexican say. Enemies know that I'm good with the gunplay, but today I'm, I'm. I never imagined. When I started doing music as a little boy, that I would go and have meetings with heads of state in the House of Commons. Profiting from violent and homophobic lyrics isn't just morally wrong, it's socially unacceptable. Lauren first, how was your meeting with David Cameron? We had a discussion and came to an understanding that a lot of the lyrics comes out of not a glorification, but often a cry for help. Why do you even care what he has to say about hip-hop culture? This is engineered by PR company. Oh, God, it not. <laughs> oh. This meeting was a step in the right direction, and anybody who criticizes it, who calls it a publicity stunt, I would ask them, what are you doing? You do something. You change the community. You go into the community and have a discussion with the least of us. I never imagined, as a little boy, that music would bring me to Hong Kong. I wonder, why is it we on the other side of the damn world where the sun is down in one place and up in another, and you can't even have no Asian models, man? Look, they got to be the picture of beauty for everything. Look at me. I'm beautiful. It is hot as hell out here, man. I got lost and couldn't, didn't know how to get a cab, and, you know, I got in a cab, and I didn't have any money, and uh, it was just horrible. And I was black and had a mohawk, and he was just like, see, see me come out the bathroom, I'm, you know, I'll go face kill it out. My eyes blue like electricity. Let's fit the five less bows, much slippery. Hey, you ever seen Deja Vu with Denzel Washington? They have one of them shits. Oh, fuck it, ain't nobody seen Deja Vu. <laughs> I never imagined as a little boy that I would have people like Kanye West, of course, producing and rapping with me. When it all comes down. Let it come down, let it come, let it come, like there. Yeah. You know, it's funny, you know, me and Kanye, my lyrical wordplay articulation is something that he values, in my opinion. But I value his ear, you know what I mean? His ear for melody is just like crazy. Come on down, check it out. Sample right there? Yeah. That's dope. People like common. It's time. It's time, bro. Open the feet together. Let's see, that's it right there. He working on some of his songs, and, and we all here, just collectively, just putting ideas and really just vibing in the studio, just being around each other, building on the energy, being creative. People like Little John. In hip hop, everything is separated in two right now. I want to do something different. I mean, I don't like to do what everybody expects. Yeah! When I met him, he said, I make music that makes people want to fight. And I said, that's great. I make music that makes people want to fight for something. Otherwise, shut your mouth. Don't make me rush your house and keep my shoes on. Fuck your couch. <laughs> These are things I've never imagined. The name of the album is El Che. And it is based on a revolutionary named Che Guevara, who was born in Argentina and helped to overthrow Cuba from Baptista. I was named after Che. Che is my real name. So this album will be about revolution. And you will hear exactly what that revolution is in the album.